everyone, this is Maria, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, do this activity called Joined at the Roots. Uh, this activity is within the derivational relations stage, so it is meant to be used by um, more advanced readers and writers as they're going to be exploring Greek and Latin uh, elements or base words. Um, the materials that you need is a word sword board, word cards, uh, in a vocabulary notebook. So I have tried to recreate my board here on this on this whiteboard for you guys to see a little bit better. But you would instruct your students to create one in their vocabulary notebooks, just a very general one. Um, so what you do here is that you would place your words with the appropriate roots under a particular category. Uh, in the appendix of our book, uh, Words Their Way, you'll find a very extensive list of Greek and Latin words. So you would create categories entirely up to you, uh, what categories you would choose, and uh, select the words, and the students would find out the meaning of the Latin or Greek word root and, uh, and place the words in the appropriate category. So I have here a few categories. I have speaking and writing, building and construction, thinking, feeling, government, and movement. So to make it a little bit more manageable, just to present this activity to you guys, I have selected a few words here. I have the root, the meaning, and a couple of English words. And uh, I have my word sort here. And so I am going to demonstrate how to do this strategy. I would select a word. My word here is autobiography. I would go here and determine the meaning of the root graph. And the meaning is right. So my word is autobiography. And that would fall within the speaking and writing category. So I would write down my word. There, I have another word. It happens to be the word autograph. It falls within the same root graph. So I would continue to add on to this category. Autograph. Now I have the word tractor. I would go back to the list that I made. Tract, the root trapped means to pull. Here's the word tractor. So that would probably go well under the building and construction category. And I would write the word tractor there. Here's another word, attraction. It has the same uh, root, tract. So it falls within that category as well. So attraction. Another word from my sort is philanthropy. So I would go find the meaning of the root. Phil means love. Philanthropy. So that would go well in the category of thinking and feeling. Philanthropy. Another word from my sort is Philosophy. So philosophy also shares that same root, phil, which means love. So it would go in this category as well. Philosophy. In other words, uh, from, from the sort provided in the appendix of the book, here is economy. That's a fairly easy one. It can perfectly go under the category of government. And so I have demonstrated how to place these words in the appropriate category uh, depending on, on the roots. So uh, I think it's worth pointing out that it is entirely up to you how do you how you want to determine the categories. Uh, this activity works very good for small groups individual work 
um, then you can have the students share the words that they have learned. It is up to you. The list is uh, quite extensive in the back of the book. So this is joined at the roots. Thank you.